everybody. It's DR Drake 63 here again today and uh, going a little bit western again. Uh, we've got uh, got our Uberti pistols ready, uh, ready to have a little bit fun today. Shooting this brand new Uberti 1873 Winchester copy. And uh, we're out here uh, uh, at an undisclosed range location, but you can see out there over yonder uh, out at about 25 paces, I've got a target set up and figured that's a good, uh, a good standing uh, without any kind of rest target to start with distance. And uh, we're going to load this Uberti up with um, uh, 10 rounds. We're going to start out with uh, 357 Magnum and uh, let's see what she can do. So today we're going to start out. We're using American Eagle and 357. This is 158 grain because we're shooting this out of uh, shooting this out of a lever action. Obviously, we want to make sure that this has a nice flat point, which it does. It's going to come in handy. We're going to go ahead and load up 10 rounds. And we're going to take our first shots with this firearm. I'm very excited about it. Can I show you here? You don't push it in all the way, it makes it easier as you put each cartridge in. So there I went ahead and uh, went farther than I needed to. It's not like it's a big deal, but if you're speed loading, that surely could be a big deal. For you guys not experienced with lever actions, I'll just point out you always want to use kind of a, uh, a flat nose kind of variety uh, because it's going to cycle better and also anything with a, with a point might uh, create a discharge that you don't want. So here's nine and here's ten. So we're going to go ahead and put in our eyes and ears and let's see how this thing comes sighted in right away from the Uberti factory. Let's go take a look at that. So looking at this right away in a 10 shot group, we're able to see three across the top, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So uh, in terms of uh, in terms of our windage, good elevations, obviously a little bit of a uh, obviously a little bit of a let's see what uh, what we need to to get for a sight picture, but uh, that's a nice little grouping right off the bat. Again, it's uh, 25 paces, so roughly going to be, oh, with my pace, going to be somewhere around 28 yards or so, and um, ni nice little grouping. So now let's see how we can do with something like this. Um, I would like to go ahead and shoot this a little bit quicker this time. Okay, last time I was mostly mostly worried about what kind of accuracy I could get. This time I'm interested in seeing how quick I can cycle this. This has not been slicked up. Uh, it's just as it came from the factory, so it is going to be what it's going to be. And there you go. And uh, Mostly, if anything, I'm guilty of trying to overstroke it as opposed to short stroking it, but you saw I was able to uh, able to get that out with some kind of decency, but uh, um, now we're going to shoot 38 specials, and uh, for comparison purposes, we'll put up a new target. Now we're going to be shooting, uh, this is also 158 grain, and it's 38 special, and uh, 
this particular ammo, HSM, I'd like to point out to you that uh, round nose, but it's got a flat tip. Again, will work well in a ra uh, um, situation with the lever gun. We're going to see how this loads up. We're going to see how this fires. First thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and try to get some accuracy out of this. So we're taking our time a little bit. Same distance, 25 paces, give or take. And uh, we got a new target, so we'll be able to compare. And um, you know, I expect the 357 to be a little bit more accurate at this distance. So does it really matter? I don't know. But uh, one of the things that we are going to be looking for is uh, what's the recoil feel like? Because with the 357, it was next to non-existent. Truth of the matter is, that felt like shooting a cap gun. Let's go see what kind of results we got on target. Now. So we're shooting the same uh, same grain bullet. And if you look here, you'll see, uh, looking at it, I count uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on target, and one wide to the right. You can't tell whether or not one of those you see on the left here might be a result of what we did with the 357 there a little bit earlier. But again, standing, absolutely no problem. No problems feeding with those bullets. In fact, they, they fed a little bit easier than the 357. Um, so I uh, have to say I shot the 357 a little bit more accurately, um, but I don't think that you can really determine a lot uh, from that with first shots either. But uh, uh, let's go back now and see what we can do in terms of uh, in terms of getting some speed shooting going. Okay, now we're going to see how we can do for shooting for speed at that same target. Is this going to cycle these quickly and those kind of things? Not looking for accuracy as much here as how quick can I shoot this guy. I'd say that does pretty good. Um, when guys talk about wanting to, uh, you know, uh, have these slicked up and short stroke, what they're talking about is this lever here, instead of having to take it this far to shoot, maybe a little bit short of that, in other words, to, uh, to cycle your next round. That's what they mean by short stroking it uh, uh, or creating a shorter stroke. Now, personally, um, that's not something I'm looking to get done, at least not right away. But I was real happy with the way this ammunition cycled um, at that speed. And keep it in mind, I'm, I'm not a rookie to using lever guns, but I don't do a lot of speed shooting. So I was pretty happy with that. I actually got a number of hits on that target as well. So uh, now I want to do is load it up one more time with the 357 and see if I can duplicate the results of speed that I just had with that uh, 38 Special, now given that I've uh, put a few rounds through this rifle, which is... Behaved beautifully. It shoots exactly where I want it to shoot. Um, if I do my part, this rifle is very accurate. So I'm very pleased with that. Okay, we've loaded this up now with uh, 10 rounds of 357. Let's see if I can uh, replicate that speed or get close to it that I just had with the 38. Pretty darn close. I'm not putting a stopwatch on it, but uh, uh, what I'll have to say is that, uh, how do you like that, the round coming right off, these eject topside. I couldn't have done a better uh, example of where these rounds go than what you just saw there. <laughs> uh, pretty darn close to as fast. What I'm noticing though is it's a lot easier to keep this on target 
with the 38 special than it is using the uh, the free 357. The 357, while it doesn't have a lot of kick, it's definitely got some muzzle ride. Okay, so we're loaded for we're loaded for bear, as they say, and I don't mean in terms of uh, hot loads or hot house loads, but what we do mean is uh, we've got 10 in this uh, in this 1873. We've also got two six shooters carrying six, and. Uh, Let's see how quick we can get some of these off, have a kind of a fun shot. I think I got them. And if I didn't get them, I don't think I'm going to get them. That was fun. Don't have any more of them up there. Last thing we're going to try are these 38 specials from Magtech. And uh, this is also, this is a 125 grain offering. So we're going to see how these do, uh, just in terms of looking at what it looks like on the, on the tip. You can see right here, compared to, uh, compared to that Cowboy MO, very similar. It's got a rounded nose, but a flat point, which is what we're looking for. So let's see how these do for speed shooting. This is only a speed shooting test at this point. Let's see how these MagTet 38 specials do for speed shooting now. One thing you might have noticed there that if you're if you're not exaggerating your motion a little bit when you're when you're going with the down level, that there's lever, there's a good chance that you're not going to eject as much as you'd like to. And you notice on that last one, gave it a real ride. So that was kind of interesting. But wanted to uh, kind of wrap it up here today just by saying that uh, man, what a, what a great rifle! This thing is smooth as butter. Uh, I am, uh, you know, disclaimer remaining. I'm not an experienced cowboy shooter, so when when you saw me, like for example, on that last run I did, I wasn't really particularly aiming at everything, or at anything in particular, and I'm sure you kind of saw the barrel kind of going around, so um, it was more more looking at function of the gun than I was at uh, how good can I shoot it, but uh, guys that really know what they're doing can probably go about twice that fast and, and hit a target every time, so I've got some learning to do, but... When you have tools like this available, uh, it's fun to practice with them. So uh, I'm most definitely going to do that. Um, uh, this was a lot of fun. An accurate rifle. It seems to be uh, accurate uh, with with various kinds of ammo. It seems to load at least the the flat point stuff pretty well. And uh, like I said, you do notice a, a little bit more kick with 357 than you do with 38. But but both of them are a pleasure to shoot, uh, and I've enjoyed it. So. Looking forward to uh, looking forward to a long relationship with this firearm, and uh, seeing what we're capable of doing uh, over time. But I want to thank you for watching today. This is Dr. Drake 63 saying so long.